I don't know if you guys know this, but back in the day, before I got into mobile gaming, I was actually a huge PC gamer and I played a bunch of games on Steam. And I always loved a lot of the free to play options. So it got me thinking, maybe you guys are in the same boat. Maybe you are looking for free to play games on Steam that are worth your time. So I put together a list of 10 of my favorites and one extra one at the very end you're not gonna wanna miss. So let's dive into my top 10 best favorite free to play games on Steam. Number one on today's list is Path of Exile. If you're into action RPG, dungeon crawler games that are free to play, you will love Path of Exile. If you're into any type of a Diablo game, you will enjoy Path of Exile. What I like most about this game is that it's free to play. The graphics are insane. It has continued support from the development team and the game is, it just has so much depth to it. The skill trees will scare away an amateur player as they just get lost in it, which tells me this game has a lot of potential for long time, long term gameplay that you won't get bored of, that you're gonna invest time into and really dedicate yourself to being a really solid player. Path of Exile is uh, essentially, it's a classic in the action RPG genre, and it's one that you just cannot go wrong on. It's definitely one of the best 10 games on Steam that are free to play. Now, a lot of times I talk about Apex Legends Mobile on this channel, but today we're talking about Apex Legends on PC. This game is one of, in my opinion, the best Battle Royale games that you can play on Steam. It has some really great game mechanics, different class systems, and customization that is unique to the genre. Not to mention the graphics, which I think are incredible. They actually remind me a bit of the graphics from Borderlands from back in the day, which is one of my favorite titles that I've ever played of all time. If you like Battle Royale games, action shooter games, where you work together with a team, when you can play as a different class, customize your weapons and really dominate on the battlefield, and you don't want to pay anything for the game, you want to play for free, you have to try Apex Legends. Coming in at number three, we have Destiny 2. Destiny 1 was incredible. Destiny 2 launched with issues of its own and then went free to play. Since that time, it has been one of the best games on Steam overall, not even including only free to play. This game has so much depth, open world, where you can do tons of things in this expansive world, play with other players, player versus player, player versus environment, and yes, it does look to have a bit of a Halo feel to it now, doesn't it? Well, obviously that's because there was definitely some influence there. I have played Destiny 2 quite a bit in my time, and it's a lot of fun. It's one of those games where you can get behind the controller, do some PVE experiences, and really get control of your character quickly and feel like you have the ability to have some really good fun. Then once you hone in your skills, you become a better player, you can get into PVP elements of the game and really test your skills. Destiny 2 is a must play game for any Steam game player, especially ones looking for something for free. Guys, so far, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell because I put out top game videos all the time, PC, mobile, NFT, and more. Make sure you're here for my next video. I'll be looking out for you. Next up is a Valve exclusive. We're talking about Counter-Strike Go, one of the largest shooter games in esports, team-based and a very difficult game to master, but one that's fun to get involved in, a very different type of shooter, one that's been around for many, many, many years, where you need to do objective-based gameplay, where there's really not much aiming down sights, unless you're using a sniper, and it's just a very different feel. If you're looking for a game that's big into the esports scene, one that has been around for a long time, has a massive player base that is really dedicated to the game, you're gonna wanna try Counter-Strike, but it's one that's not going to hold your hand in the beginning. It's gonna be difficult in the beginning. You're gonna take deaths. 
but if you put in the time, you could really enjoy yourself and have some really fun gameplay. It's nice because you could also play against AI, so you can improve yourself, get better, and then move on to PvP. Remember we spoke of Destiny 2 a little bit earlier? Well, Warframe is another game that really is similar to Destiny 2, but has a lot more melee mechanics and is just a very different game overall. This is a completely free to play game that is extremely enjoyable, high quality with some of the best graphics I've seen on Steam. I really do love how you could build up your character, get into the PVP elements and really just have so much fun with the different movements and, and battle mechanics inside of the game. Just watching the trailer lets you see how fast the game is, how quickly you move around and what different types of attacks you could string together as you slay your opponents inside of Warframe. This is a game that's been big for a long time, has massive support from the developers, and will continue to dominate over the years. This one's going nowhere. It's one you should try. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but so many of these games are just so good. If you're looking for a MOBA outside of the obvious choices, Smite may be a good option for you. This is not one of the most popular played MOBA titles, but it is one that's very good, has a long lasting community, and is still going strong today. And of course, to make it on this list, it needs to be free to play. The game is really solid for those of you who are interested in MOBAs and one that you want to give a try, but we have another one on today's list as well, which we'll get to later. Team Fortress 2 is another game exclusive to Steam, exclusive to Valve, that has really been around for an extremely long time. It's a shooter title, it's class-based, but this one kind of takes comedy into play as well. It's a less serious version of a competitive shooter, and in my opinion, as well as the community's opinion, I would say, is one of the best of all time. You could play as multiple different character classes, all serving different purposes within the game. And again, you're going to have objective-based gameplay that's gonna help you maneuver your way through your victories as you play. As you can see from this trailer alone, this game is comical. They don't take things too seriously, but they do take seriously the experience that you have when you battle it out inside of the game. If you're looking for something casual yet competitive, Team Fortress is the one for you. You know how I mentioned another MOBA? Well, Dota 2 will be that other MOBA. It's another Valve exclusive title, and it's one of the leaders in the MOBA genre. 100% free to play, extremely enjoyable, and really a class leader in genre. If you had to choose a free to play game that was a MOBA, this would probably be one of your best choices if you wanted to play through Steam. Obviously, League of Legends is one of its competitors, but not a Steam title. Remember World of Tanks? Well, how about World of Warships, where you battle it out with other warships as you are a warship yourself. I'll admit this is not one of my favorite genres of titles, but this is an extremely good game, well supported and loved by the community right here on Steam specifically players that are looking for free to play games. If you're looking for this type of a game, Warships or even Tanks, I would say, is a great game for you to try. Now, as I go through today's list, I realize there are a lot of shooters, but that's because there's a lot of great shooters on Steam for free. Rogue Company is another one of them. I played quite a bit of this. I love the way that you move through this map. It's got the nice cover system that we remember from the olden days of Gears of War, the nice roll and jump system, and you can customize your characters, not only their gear, but also their emotes and their dances. It's a lot of fun. This is not one of the most popular shooters on Steam, but it is definitely one that's enjoyable, well-made, and well worth your time. Now that was 10, but I told you guys I had an extra one at the end of the list, and that's this one. It's called Spellbreak. Now, there's a little story that goes along with Spellbreak. This is a battle royale magical game where instead of weapons, you harness the gauntlets, which are these gloves that you wear that empower you with different skills, abilities that can be customized and merged together. This is a battle royale style game where you come into the world and you put your skills to the test. Again, weapons are not the factor here. It is your magical powers. 
think the game has really done well. But unfortunately, as of late, the developers of the game have gone dark and we have not heard anything from them. No updates and very little support as well, which was very strange from this development company because they were always so connected to the community. With that being said, the servers are still open and there is a community of players that love this game that are still playing it. It is by far not one of the most popular or most played games on the list here today but it is something that is very different from all the others, and there are not many games in the Battle Royale genre where you harness powers versus weapons. I think this one is one that you should check out if you're looking for something different and not worried about community size, or just want to experiment with something that there's not a lot of out in the gaming space right now. Spellbreak is awesome, and hopefully the developers come back and support this game so we can move on in the future, because it's got so much potential. If I didn't grab your favorite game on Steam, let me know what it is in the comments section below and maybe, just maybe I'll feature it in an upcoming video. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Make sure you sub and ring the bell so you don't miss the next one and be good.